this video, I'm going to talk about LS Central point of sale system designed for hospitality quick service restaurants. A quick service restaurant is one which is focused on providing customer service with food as quickly as efficiently as possible to its customers. This generally means that there is no table service and food is cooked to order in a short space of time. So without any further delay, I will walk you through the experience with Kronos Pizzeria Wraps. You can click on log on button here, which is where the cashier or the server can come into their staff ID. Uh, if they have a password, they can enter that and uh, press OK. Which takes them to the screen where all the current orders are displayed. So. If there are multiple orders, you'll see multiple lines here with the order ID, uh, the kitchen status of that order, the receipt number, and the time that it was sent to the kitchen. This also tells you about the production time on how long it's going to take for the chef to finish this order. Uh, this is an estimated time, and the actual can vary from this. Uh, another way you can use to find an order for the customer if they don't have an order ID is by clicking on this particular order and uh, looking here it tells you the items that have been ordered under this under this order BLT sandwich and a couple of burgers that have been ordered here so this makes it easier for you to find any orders so without knowing any order ID or if some customers lost their receipt uh, so it's pretty handy there now uh, you might notice the, that there are no tables here uh, as you would see in a dine-in restaurant it's because uh, this particular video is just going to talk about the quick service experience but uh, LS Central has the capability uh, to offer you a dine-in service where uh, customers can come in the restaurant have a seat at the table have service bring food to them uh, while they order and enjoy a drink so this is what the the screen looks like so these are different tables and this is the shape of the restaurant so you can have multiple screens here at, at the top if your restaurant has different areas so uh, the system can handle at least uh, even 20 different areas and all of them would be listed here up top and you can have different tables listed there so it is a very good functionality to have because you do not have to change uh, the monitors and have mul multiple monitors for one or more restaurants. So I'm going to start by placing a new order. Uh, this is the ordering screen that the cashier would usually see. And these are the menu items. Uh, you can switch between menus by clicking here. So if a customer comes in and places an order for a bottle of water, they can simply go here and under drinks and place this order and the system will show that, okay, one bottle of water, the price is 130. And uh, the same customer says, okay, I would like to order a sandwich as well. Okay, what kind of sandwich would you like? A BLT sandwich. A BLT sandwich comes with a side of uh, either fries, onion rings, or a baked potato. So as you see here, onion rings and french fries don't have an additional price here, while baked potato has a additional charge of $1 here. So for this example, I'm going to be choosing baked potato. The customer also wants to order a salad. So they would like to order a cheese salad here but uh, they would like to remove the tomatoes from this salad because uh, they do not like tomatoes to, uh, to send this instruction over to the chef in the kitchen you can simply click on exclude ingredients and all the ingredients of the cheese salad pops up here as you see and you can select whichever one you want to exclude so tomatoes in this case and you press ok and the system shows you that okay tomatoes tomatoes have been removed from this salad there are a lot of restaurants that offer the customers uh, the ability to create their own sandwiches and wraps 
So in this example, I will have created prepare your own wrap offered by this restaurant where the customer gets to select the meat, the sauces and the veggies that go inside this particular wrap. So if the customer is asking for a wrap, you can click here. System will ask you what kind of meat would you like to include in the wrap. So I'm going to choose ham and tenderloin. And as you see, the prices are also listed here. It means this is an additional cost to the customer. And once I've choose, chosen what meat goes in the wrap, you press OK. And now the customer wants all the sauces. So I'm going to choose the three sauces, press OK. And the system tell, tells you what veggies would you like to add to your order. You can say onions and uh, pepper. And you can press OK here. So now all of all of your choices have been brought to the point of sale system and any extra charges have also been listed and added to the total. Now some restaurants also have some deals saying uh, a chicken burger meal where you get a chicken burger with a side of your choice and you also get to choose what kind of drink you would like. In this example you can uh, with a chicken burger the customer would like to order a portion of fries and uh, a fountain drink. So you press OK here and your choices come on the POS here. Now all of these instructions, these choices, all of these modifiers here are all going to be transferred to the kitchen uh, using the kitchen display system which I'm going to be demonstrating uh, later in this video. So it comes in very handy for uh, the cashier and the chef in the kitchen because there's no back and forth with uh, receipts and notes made on receipts for different kind of instructions. So uh, one particular example here would be if uh, the customer wants to make sure that the tenderloin and the wrap is well done. Uh, when that happens you can simply go to text and enter free text and while selecting this item you can say okay well done and you can press ok and this instructions are going to get sent to the chef in the kitchen so this uh, is very helpful for them to know what kind of uh, order the customer likes now if there are some uh, some text that you use more often than others you can uh, create buttons for them suppose with a wrap, people usually get extra plate. You can just add that here and the, the person placing the order would know about it. And putting it all together, it's going to be easier for them to know that, okay, this customer needs an extra plate. So you press OK here. Uh, so now I would like to walk you through uh, allergens. So now the customer has placed an order for all of these items, uh, but they realize that, okay, I forgot to tell you, I have peanut allergy. Now, do any of these items here uh, contain peanut or have any traces of it? Because I then I can't have that food. So instead of uh, going with a list of things that have been ordered here, uh, taking, uh, taking that list into the kitchen to the chef and asking them, uh, do any of these items have allergens? You can simply go here and click on peanuts. And the system is going to tell you if any of these items here uh, have any traces or not, which in this case it doesn't. So means it's safe for the customer to have. Uh, now it's only possible because uh, LS Central allows you to uh, make up all of these items using ingredients. So the system knows what all items go inside uh, each of these recipes. So for example, in the BLT sandwich, if we go and we click on exclude ingredients like I showed you before, it shows you all the items that are inside the sandwich. And if you can exclude any one of them or not. So for example, this uh, sandwich has sliced bread, which of course you cannot exclude because uh, you need bread to make the sandwich. It's going to be hard for you otherwise. So other than that, if you want to remove, uh, I think, tomatoes, you can always do that. So this is how. The system identifies if there are any allergens here. Now the customer also says, okay, I have milk and eggs allergy. So you can simply click here 
and the system will tell you okay out of all the things that you have ordered blt sandwich has milk and eggs both so you might want to look at another option and the salad that you have ordered also has milk inside it so you should choose for something else so the customer can uh, always go in and say that okay i would like to uh, take a, take out the salad but let's leave out the blt sandwich because that's uh, probably for my husband or any other person so now that you have everything ordered here the customer would like to pay for this and uh, move on to the next step of waiting and this can be sent over to the kitchen so uh, there is also another option if uh, the customer wants to add any tips to the order you can simply uh, ask the cashier to enter an amount saying okay i'd like to give you five dollars for your excellent service and helping me identify allergens in that salad so that's also something that can be done and it's added to the total of the bill and then the customer can pay by cash card and uh, other ways uh, in this example i'm just going to pay using cash and once you pay this the system is going to confirm with you about all the items that have been ordered and which display station they are going to now these display stations are co uh, connected to the kitchen display system you see that cold preparation station and pickup expediter station uh, is where all of these orders are going to so i will press ok here and now it's going to print out a receipt for the customer which uh, has the order number the total amount and the amount that was paid and the customer can go and wait close to the pickup station where all of these items are going to be put together when they are prepared and they're going to be given to the customer so now i will take you to the process where all of these orders are now sent to the kitchen and the chef is going to prepare these items so this is what a display station looked like when you saw on the previous screen it said cold preparation station and pickup expediter station pickup ex so basically what a ps is a preparation station it is uh, a line on uh, in the kitchen where uh, food is prepared so uh, usually some restaurants have fryer preparation station grill preparation station or dessert preparation station where different kinds of items are made and they are all put together uh, in the pickup expediter station so this is where the customer is waiting and all the items from different uh, stations come together and they're put together in the same bag or in the same tray and handed over to the customer so going back to the cold preparation station here you see that there are some orders that are orange and some are white this is because uh, these orders have been sitting here for way too long now now as you see here this these three items here have been sitting for almost 15 minutes so it's like an indication to the chef saying that okay it's been a while since these orders have been here and you might want to speed things up uh, and you can always uh, bump them as soon as the order is finished here so i'm going to bump all the three orders here and i will show you how they reflect on the pickup station so as you see here uh, this jet that was uh, previously white and orange has changed its color so the person sitting on the pickup station uh, now knows that okay everything's here now it's my job to put it all together and deliver it to the customer so once it's all put together and handed over to the customer you can bump it from here as well now you see that all the all other orders here that are that were placed so this uh, it shows you that these orders have been here for almost three minutes and the production time that is left so uh, it puts some pressure on the kitchen staff to improve their performance as they see the time ticking here which is uh, something that is very good for you to improve the efficiency of the restaurant and improve times uh, improve production times for them now I remember in the BLT sandwich we had removed the tomatoes and uh, 
and ordered a baked potato on the side so this is what it shows like on the preparation station it gives clear instructions to the kitchen staff on what needs to be prepared on the side and if there's something that the customer would like to remove from their order similarly uh, in the wrap we had placed uh, an order for wrap with ham steak make sure the steak is well done the instructions sent out here the sauces that coincided the veggies so all of the things are clearly laid out for the kitchen staff making it easier for them to read and make sure that none of these things are missed out um, also the portion of fries that was ordered afterwards so i will bump one of these orders here and i will show you what it looks like on the pickup station so as soon as i bump this chicken burger here on this chit that you see here the it will turn green so after bumping it here you see that it has turned green it shows the cost uh, the person sitting at the pickup station that okay this item is ready but the other items the wrap the blt sandwich fries are not yet ready so uh, they can have an, an update for the customer at least or they know that okay for the pita bread this chef is in charge how long is it going to take they can at least provide some update to the customer so it's always good to have visibility on different display stations for this one now i'm going to bump the rest of the orders and show you that the chit will change its color as you see here now the pickup person knows that okay all of this is ready put it together hand it over to the customer and they're all good now so you see how easy that process was and now since everything has been bumped here in the pickup station uh, you will see that the order that was placed here will disappear in a few minutes uh, showing the cashier that uh, all of these items have been delivered to the customer and it's all good so as you see that uh, having the kds connected to the restaurant uh, makes it so much easier for everyone to communicate starting from the cashier to the chef to the person on the expeditor station putting everything together the communication is all there and this system helps you make sure that you're efficient you are providing the best service to the customer and you always have an update on where the food is what's what's the status and different kinds of things and it just improves the customer service experience for everyone so this is all i wanted to show in this video hope you liked it and uh, i will be making some more videos about uh, the dine-in restaurant and some other hospitality functions that the system has to offer so till next time thank you everyone thanks for watching this archer point video if you found it helpful make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.